Before we get started with today's video, y'all, if you guys are looking to buy a godlike NBA 2K19 account, make sure you guys hit up legit accounts, 100% legit. The link will be in the description. What is good, YouTube? It's your boy, Henry, aka HDF, back in the building with yet another banger. And in today's video, as you can tell by the thumbnail and the title, we got a straight banger for y'all. So 2K20 has decided to leak their ratings. And I'm going to be showing you guys all the ratings in this video. So make sure you guys subscribe to the channel if you're new. Because I'm going to be your number one source for all 2K20 news. Because trust me, I ain't leaking I ain't you know leaking no fake shit or anything. All real shit straight from 2K20 and people that work um, with 2K. So anyways... Yeah, make sure you subscribe to the channel. We're trying to hit this 5k subs. Drop a like on the video and turn on post notifications so you can see every time I upload another 2K20 video like this or just another banger in general and every time I stream, which is every single day. Now, as you can see by uh, on your screen right now, NBA 2K20 official Twitter. And by the way, if you don't follow me on Twitter and Instagram, make sure you go ahead and follow me on Twitter and Instagram. We're trying to get that 3k on Twitter and 1k on Instagram. I post every single time um that i go live on twitter and every time i upload a video on both so yeah make sure you guys don't go follow me on there links will be in the description but anyways as you can see it, 2k20 tweeted on twitter uh, about three days ago which players ratings are you most excited to see tune in to nba 2k20 ratings reveal uh, live stream on Twitter, so it's gonna be Monday, July 15th, 8 p.m. Eastern, 5 p.m. Pacific. So I was like, okay, bet that's a bet. I'm gonna be there, and I was there. So I'm about to show you guys all of the ratings. But before we do that, let's go. They they were hyping this up, so let's go ahead and look at this because they were really hyping this these overalls up. So at, ever since they tweeted that, right? They posted a couple screenshots, all right? So let's look at these screenshots. The first screenshot we have, Jimmy Butler. Now, obviously, none of these screenshots are going to show the overall because these are before they revealed the ratings. But we're just going to look at these screenshots um, before we get into the video. They revealed this screenshot. Now, I'm not going to lie. You know, the graphics, I don't care about the graphics anymore. They're good enough, whatever. But the graphics are looking nice, you know, as usual. You know, Jimmy Butler on the Miami Heat looking different. And then we got Kemba Walker on the Celtics. You know, you, there's just really a lot of reflection. You know, you see the sweat, you know, all that good stuff, you know. Stuff that we expect, right? You got Carl Anthony Towns as well. You know what I'm saying? On the Timberwolves. And then Damian Lillard on the Blazers. But anyways, guys, let's just go ahead and jump in straight into the NBA 2K20 ratings that you've been waiting for. Let's get it. I'ma hop in my bag and go stupid. I'm in love with you like Cupid. Diamonds on me is confusing. Money on me is confusing. She like the way that I'm moving. I just fix it, I be zooming. Rolling on me, I be grooving. Come here, baby, how you do this? I pull up a skirt. I hop up and swerve. But I came for the dirt. Okay, y'all, so let's get straight into it. So, 2K20 started off the stream with showing the highest duo, dynamic duel overall average ratings, basically, which is something new that they haven't done. So, starting off at number four, they have a screenshot of Russell Westbrook and James Harden with an average of a 93 overall rating. And then at number three, they have Kevin Durant and Kyrie Irving with an average rating of 93 and a half. They will be in the in Brooklyn this year, but Katie will be out, obviously out for the season. And then at number two, they have Kawhi and Paul George with an average rating of 95. Those Clippers jerseys are looking crazy. That's going to be a crazy team next year. And then at number one, they have LeBron James and Anthony Davis at 95 and a half. And here is the top four dynamic duels right here, as you can see on the list. But let's get into the next section. So they also did a shooting um, list, which th they haven't done this either. They're doing some new stuff this year. But as you see on the top five shooting list, number five, we got Buddy Heel with a 93-pointer. JJ Redick with a 93-pointer at number four. At number three, we have Joe Harris with a 94, which is crazy. Um, I think he deserves it, especially what he did in the three-point contest for the Brooklyn Nets all year. Clay Thompson at 97-3. And then, of course, Curry with 99 three-pointer again absolutely insane the Warriors are still gonna be a crazy team to use in 2k20 I agree with these ratings too you know for the top five shooters and I think this is gonna be really interesting when it comes you know quick match whatever man but yeah here's your top five shooters and let's get into the next section man 
Okay, so next we have our rookies. Now, they didn't show any screenshots of the rookies because they still have to create the players. They haven't gotten their face creations yet. But as you can see, so number five, they gave it to Darius Garland at a 77 overall. I don't know how I feel about him being number five, but, you know, it's whatever. Number four, we got DeAndre Hutton, Hunter, which is another 77. And I think, honestly, there's a multiple 77s besides these two because I don't think they should be four and five you know what i'm saying i think there could have been a couple other guys that might have could have squeezed in there but you know i'm fine with it number three they have rj barrett as 78 overall um which i 100 percent agree with john morant 79 i think john morant could be an 80 but they gave him a 79 and then of course zion williamson at the number one spot with an 81 overall and here is the top five as you can see for the rookie class of 20 for 2k20 and it's gonna be crazy, bro, to use Zion with the or Zion with the Pelicans. That's gonna be insane. I think John Moran Zion's overall will move up while we get uh, later in the year. But anyways, that's the rookies they chose for the top five. All right, so the last ratings they announced. So as you already know, we went through the top five shooters, we went through the top five rookies, and we went through the top four duos. So they decided to leak the top 20 NBA 2K20 ratings in NBA 2K20. So we're going to go through them one by one. So they have the first screenshot goes to Ben Simmons at an 87 overall. Honestly, I agree because he cannot shoot the ball at all. But here is Ben Simmons at an 87. And then they also had a screenshot. They did not show a screenshot of Blake Griffin, but he's an 88 overall. Um... But anyways, next up we have, as you can see, Rudy Gobert also at an 88, a well-deserved defensive player. And then after Rudy Gobert, we have another Jazz player, Donovan Mitchell at an 88 overall in just his third season, which is crazy. He's only going to go up from there. Kemba Walker is also an 88 coming to the Boston Celtics. Honestly, I think he could be a little higher, 89 or 90, but we'll, we'll, we'll go with the 88, I guess. And then Jimmy Butler falls down to an 88 overall as well after um, his one year in Philadelphia. It's going to be crazy what he, it's going to be interesting to see what he can do with Miami in the Eastern Conference. But yeah, he's in at an 88. And then we have Carl Anthony Towns at an 89 overall. Um, I kind of agree with that one too. I think he's going to go 90 plus through the year. So I don't think he has much to worry about. And then we have Clay Thompson at an 89 overall. They didn't show a screenshot of him because of the Warriors' new arena, so they don't have screenshots of him yet. Um, and then Russell Westbrook at a 90. A lot of people thought, you know, he would be higher. A lot of people thought he was going to be lower. It's really a side-to-side, -side, one way or the other kind of debate. But yeah, they decided to give him a 90 overall going to Houston this year. And then Nikola Yoka gets a 90 overall. I think he could have gotten higher. I think he should be like a 92, to be honest. But... It's all good. Kyrie has a 91 overall, another highly debatable one. He's going to Brooklyn this year. I think he'll definitely go to like a 94, him being one of the only scorers on Brooklyn, especially without KD. Uh, and then we got Joel Embiid as a 91 overall. I think he started off as a 91 again last year, but uh, we'll see how he does later in the year. Another good screenshot here. And then Damian Lillard as a 91. I was very surprised when I saw this, bro. Damian Lillard should at least be a 94. They are always underrating this guy. Like, he's literally how many times does he have to prove himself? He literally went to the conference finals this year and he's still only a 91. That's crazy to me. Paul George 93 overall. This screenshot is nice as hell too with him on the Los Angeles Clippers. It's going to be interesting to see what he can do with Kawhi this year. And then Anthony Davis, the cover athlete, at a 94 overall. Now, he kind of agreed with his rating because he said he wasn't here for the second half of the year, which I agree. You know, that's going to affect your rating for sure. But he, I think he'll go up to a 96 by the end of the year. But, yeah, he's going to have a 94 overall rating to start. And then we have Stephen Curry at a 95 overall, another player that I think will his overall will be higher by the end of the year at 95 for curry they did not have a screenshot for him as well because of the warrior stadium and then we have james harden a 96 that is actually insane they gave james harden a 96 overall that think about it, that's six overall higher than russell westford i don't know if that makes sense but you know we'll go with it durant gets a 96 as well he still has a high overall for being injured for a whole year but um yeah, that's crazy to me, but he is a 96. You know, it is KD at the end of the day. And then 
as we getting down to the top three players right now Giannis is number three with a 96 overall rating that is actually crazy I mean he would be a 98 if he could shoot the ball Jesus but at number two they have Kawhi Leonard I totally agree with or disagree with this how is Kawhi Leonard only number two after giving the Raptors an NBA championship their first NBA championship winning finals MVP being the best two-way player in the league going making clutch shot after clutch shot in the playoffs probably one of the best playoff performances of all time and he is only number two out of 97 overall and then of course number one I think this is bull LeBron James at number one I don't understand why he literally didn't make that playoffs I I get it LeBron you know he's had great years but la we're basing this off of last year okay how is he number one he didn't even make the playoffs maybe he put up good numbers but there's a whole second half of the season which is mainly the playoffs and Kawhi was there and won a championship so I don't agree with that but that is who the best highest overall rating is it's LeBron so anyways guys let me know what you guys think of the ratings down below what do you think of the graphics what do you think of the screenshots um, what do you think the rookies the three-point ratings all that let me know your opinions down below make sure you guys smash a sub button on this video i'm the first one to come out with these ratings so go ahead and share the video with everybody if they want to see all the screenshots all the ratings in this video uh drop a like on the video as well if you enjoyed it um and then don't forget to turn on post notifications so you see every time i'm live on youtube which is every single day and every time i post another 2k20 or banger video like this one and follow me on instagram and twitter why not i tell you when i'm posting a video i tell you when I go live, you may as well. But anyways, it's been your boy Henry, aka Double H D F, and I'm out of here, man. Peace. I ain't never had no friends. I was all alone. She ain't never called my phone. She left me on my own. They saying all girls are the same. Proud that my thumb. She said, Can you stay with me? No, I gotta go. Diamond dripping off my neck. Is when I'm about to flex up.